The tried and true fashion, which a lot of people have done over the years, in fact, I did it when I was a child, was using just a regular pot and pan and do it on a stove top. You first add two tablespoons of oil, and you'll eventually add three quarters of a cup, but what's a great thing to do is put three kernels in the pot, put your lid on, and wait. You want the oil to heat high enough so that the popcorn will pop. So when I these three pop, I'll add the rest of it and it'll go right to it. Now I turn the pot on to medium, medium high. It'll take probably uh, 45 seconds for these three to heat because you're heating the oil. And then I'll add the rest of the popcorn. The key with on the top is if in an ideal world, if you had a slotted top, that would work best because you do again want the steam to escape. What we'll do here instead is as the popcorn pops, I'll take the lid, lift it off just slightly, let some of the steam escape, and once or twice, I'll take the whole pot up and shake it. Some people think they have to sit over and shake it, shake it, shake it, and you really don't. Okay, two of the kernels have popped and wait on the third one. There it goes. Now I'll add three quarters of a cup of popcorn. Okay. And I always add just a little bit more. Now again, I will let it this is a pretty good sized pot for this kind of popping. Obviously you can change your portions uh, depending on the size of the pot, but that's a good ratio of two tablespoons and three quarters of a cup. You're able to see there's steam collecting on the top. This is a clear glass. So what I'll do is just slightly let some of the steam escape. If you don't let the steam escape, you'll get wet popcorn in. There's nothing worse than wet soggy popcorn. Again, you don't have to shake it often. The, the real thing that you want to do is move the popcorn so it doesn't burn on one side. Again, let the steam escape. See it there. One escapes. As you can see, we've got almost two thirds of this pot. When I put the popcorn in, I wasn't sure if it was going to be enough to almost fill the pot, but as you can tell, it pretty much does. You don't want to fill it all the way. Again, one more shake. And now we're all done. So we shut the heat off. We've got popcorn. You will get a few pops there at the very end. It's okay. But there is a full pot of popcorn.